Hello everybody, I am Tom and you are watching me play The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. Today, I'm gonna kill some wraiths. This one is like running away from me? There's a dead person here. Oh, here comes another one. Ow. So they do a lot of damage. That's worth noting. Not quite one-shot me. But their combo attack one shots me. I'll cut out this loading screen. Although it should be pretty short considering I'm on SSD. So clearly. Not my steel sword, I need my silver sword. Thank you. Clearly they can kill me. So, I've got two after me now. I really need to get instant kills for this to be useful. There we go, that's one. Well, it'll stop you dying, Geralt. That's what it'll change. For those who didn't hear what he said there, he said, Ordinary Spectre, that wouldn't change a thing. Ooh. They seem to be stronger in this mist as well. They seem to be turning truly invisible. Whoop. 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 I'm not talking at all, and that's because these guys can kill me so easily. That I'm worried about dying. One on one though, it's not too bad. As long as I keep Quen up, should be fine. Alright, one more should take it down, or it'll die of... nope. Whew. Actually gonna quick save after that. But as I said, I saw a body up here. Wound on his back. He was running away. Wise. Probably a good idea to run away. Almost managed to 
find cover. Almost. Hey, anyone there? How did you get here? What do you think? It is an island. You, Mikyal, the Lightkeeper? Jorand from Erenbjorn sent me. Where'd all those wraiths come from? Last saw something like this near Vergen when... From nowhere's. That's just it. Fire went out and wind died of a sudden. That's how it started. Came out here for oil, stepped out of the house, looked up, saw the mist rising. Then the ghost showed, came straight at me. Bolted back inside, hosped the door, and then I heard it. Someone whispered me name. Miguel, Miguel. I look out, there's the ray. Big bugger, bigger than the rest, and cold flowing from it. Such cold, the windows frosted o'er. Like how a lot of these people, whenever you're talking to someone like this, they always like kind of... This term wax poetic, I suppose. Where they tend to say things in a very, uh... Authorian kind of manner. I don't think normal people would say that. They'd just say, I was a fucking ghost, mate! This wraith, the big one. Tell me more. It... It, it seemed more clever than the others. Like it knew. Knew everything. Haven't helped much, have I? Sorry. Only saw it once. It disappeared right after. These ghosts didn't appear without reason. Something brought them here. Any ideas? No clue. There's nothing here. The lighthouse. Me hot just rocks besides. Even bloody drowners know there's nothing for them on Elberg. Strange. Need to look around. Here. This key opens the lighthouse. You know? In case you want to look inside, or you need to run from something. More spectres, obviously. You can hear them through the... In fact, there's more outside where I just killed these ones annoyingly. I guess I'll give it another save. Right? Further down. Alright. Well, if I have to kill spectres, I'll kill spectres. This is a very thick fog. Ah, that stench. I'm really hoping to get some, uh... Auto kills here, because it'll speed up this process. Considerably. <laughs> the reason they're getting that kill so easily, by the way, is they're not technically one-shotting me. They're actually, like, three-shotting me, technically. It does, like... They do, like, a spinning hit, which hit you multiple times. So it's, I mean, in essence, it is one-shotting me. Um, I mean, I could also run past them and get to the lighthouse, but I'm going to have to kill them eventually. Although I think... I think the other... The big bad spectre. I won't spoil what it actually is. You know, it's probably a good idea, actually. I'm pretty sure I have a decoction that makes me do extra damage against spectres. I'm sure that's a thing. And we're back. I found it. Relieves us to Cochin. It's a green one, not a red one. But this gives me 10% attack power versus Spectres and resistance to all damage types. So, probably a good idea. Um, while I'm here, I guess I'll also take Petri Filter. 
I mean, this Thunderbolt is useful anyway, but I think... There we go. Got a few things active now. I'm fairly high toxicity. I need a Quen up though. Quen. This many potions is making things go considerably faster. It's worth noting. That was my own fault because I tried attacking. If this takes, like, more attempts, I'm just going to cut out all my failed attempts and just leave in me actually killing them. And I mean, it's my own fault. I'm going up against things that are way out of my level range, but at the same time, it probably shouldn't be as hard for me as it is. Um, another decoction I want, maybe? Catechin, always good. <laughs> uh, while I'm here, what is... Uh, F for Tony Owl and R... No, T. There we go. T for Thunderbolt. Give me a quick save here. With this many potions, I should be fine. So that move there where they do kind of do the spinny thing. I'm actually going to quick save after that too. That was a uh, that was a battle. Three attempts for some regular specters. Although it is noting that ghosts are actually ghosts are notably harder to take out than um 
other enemies when they're at a higher level than you, because you can't get bleed and poison and stuff on them. Which makes a significant difference. Symbols of a bonding. Manifestations of ill will. Focused, concentrated. So it's a curse. A curse that keeps the specters here. A penitent. Good thing it hasn't appeared to me yet. Couldn't possibly kill it in this mist and darkness. Need that lighthouse working again. If Mikyol's the cursed one, the curse binds him to this place. He's the only one who can light the fire that'll break the curse. Well summed up, Geralt. I'm actually going to go through this lighthouse, though, and loot it and have a look around. But, while we're here, I will look at the Beastaria entry for Penitence. I also have a few other ones. I already read Awfuldin. I remember that quite specifically. Earth Elemental, that's new, though. Once again, timestamp for those who want to skip these. How to survive an encounter with an Earth Elemental? Simple. Run. Fast as you can. Nino Merc, Bounty Hunter. Earth Elementals are made of mud, clay, sand, and rock dust, clumped together with water and brought alive with magic. While seemingly slow and ponderous, these creatures are nevertheless dangerous and should be avoided at all costs. I tend to agree. Um, Ice Giant. So we obviously got this when we learned about Kalmar, because he'd gone off to kill one. Um, Tordorok. Played one time in my life. From the Ice Giant. And you know what? I'm not a bit ashamed. Raismond Valkyr. Clan Tordorok Oarsman. This powerful primal monster... Primeval monster is quite possibly the last of its race. The ice giant resembles a man in many respects, but is blue as frost and taller than a tree. Though it seems capable of reason, all attempts to communicate it with, with it to date have ended in the same way, in a quick and painful death. Fair enough. Although, I question how many of the Skelligans actually tried to talk to it before running at it with swords. And from its perspective, it like... Presumably from its perspective, the island is his, and all these he's woken up after all this time, and there's all these... Other people there. Penitent. It turned out the monster hunting the Isle of Elderberg is... And its lighthouse was a rare type of spectre known as a penitent. Whether this wraith haunts immediately... Wherever this haunt ra with this wraith haunts immediately becomes enveloped in thick fog and darkness. And those that wander into it usually never return. In order to defeat the penitent, one must remain in constant motion in order to avoid being struck by his agile creature which can disappear and reappear in the blink of an eye, to attack from behind. More importantly of all, however, one must discover what keeps the monster bound to its haunting ground and break the bond as soon as possible. And for those who skipped, we're back. I'm gonna just loot everything here. And climb up the lighthouse. Um. Can I not climb from this side? Yeah, there we go. The, uh, well, the prompt to climb didn't show up, so I couldn't climb up there. Which is odd, I don't know why that would happen. happened. No letter. Interesting. Got work for you, Mikyao. A ship's gonna sail from Pharaoh to Aaron Beyond with a load of hides on board. At midnight, you're to pull out the light in the lighthouse and keep it dark until we get the signal with our torch. We'll split the loot same as always. We'll get a tenth of what the sea tosses ashore, till we meet again. So, clearly Mikyal has been pretty much doing the one thing you're not supposed to do as a lighthouse keeper, which is to turn the lighthouse off when there's ships going well, past. Well. Lighthouse has got a pretty dark secret. I'm sure that was going for a pun. Don't think there's anything up here? No. Just the, uh, lighthouse itself. Um. There's something I love about The Witcher is the way that all of these houses are... Well, The Witcher 3 specifically. All of these houses are, like, actual size. It's something you can't really think about in other games, but like, this lighthouse is as thick on the outside, well, slightly thicker obviously, than it is on the inside. So it looks this big from the outside and you can just straight walk in. Like, the idea of just being able to go like that into all the houses in this game is kind of incredible when you think about it. 
Most games have like a loading screen between houses and the house is a lot bigger on the inside than it appears from the outside. I like the effort they went to to make it not like that in The Witcher. Whoops. Oy. Um, once again I'll give it a quick save. So Mukyal's kind of an asshole. Am I going to get attacked on the way down? Probably. Most definitely. I guess I could run from them, but... I really need this stamina recovery, which is why I'm taking Tornio. I just got an auto kill. So that makes things significantly easier. One Spectre is a lot easier to take out than two. I didn't need the Quen there, but I'm putting it on anyway. Just to up, re up the uh, time that you can have Quen on. I'm just going to quick save up for all these fights now because it seems silly not to. Can you hear a lot of dogs barking? I don't think there's actually any dogs on this island, so I don't fully understand why I can hear dogs. Just for atmosphere, Ooh, I suppose. It's just you. Learn anything? Islands haunted by a penitent. Spectre punishes the guilty for crimes, foul deeds. Like luring ships onto the rocks, then looting the wrecks. Don't deny it. I found the letter. Longboats sink every so often anyway. That's the sea. That's its nature. They sink near the isle. At least the cargo don't go to waste. We'll come back to that later. Just now, I need your help. But, but, but what? I'm no warrior. Guessed that already. But a curse grips both you and this place, and only you can lift it. Luckily, all you gotta do is light the fire in the lighthouse. Penitence invincible as long as darkness covers the island. I... I, I, I can't go outside. It'll kill me. I can f feel it. Perhaps you could... I'll escort you. Now no excuses. Grab some oil and let's go, before I change my mind. Look! There! It's him! I see it. Now shut your mouth and go light the fire. Remember, you fail, the penitent will kill me, then come for you. Hurry up. Don't know how much longer I can manage this. Alright, I've got Thunderbolt on now as well, which should help. Ooh. This is by far the worst thing about this pendant fight, by the way, is the fact that he can summon five spectres at once.
My hope is that I can get instant kills frequently enough that... Whoop. 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 <laughs> Summed up quite nicely, Geralt. Shit! Um, I think this will take me straight back into the fight, so it's not too much of an issue. And I think it takes Mikkel about a minute to walk up to the lighthouse. So you can just continuously dodge for a minute. In which case, then the pendant can't. Because essentially you've got to wait for him to light the lighthouse before you can... Oh, that actually saves me before then. So what I'll do, in fact... So I'll come in here and I'll actually meditate before I talk to Mikhail. Uh, and the reason I'm doing this is so I can have all of my potions and bombs and things. Because, um... Moondust will come in handy. I'm going to redo this decoction. Relieve his decoction for spectres. Um... I'll cut this out. I'm going to look through my other decoctions and see if there's something that's going to be useful. Fuck. Notice the coin had gone down. Well, apparently I can do it. But holy shit. Really? Combo breaker. Show me what you Hurry got. up. Don't know how much longer I can manage this.
light. Finally. Time to get this done.
Whew. More health. 90% so I need a heal. Fucking god. <laughs> Holy fucking shit. It took me like an hour. Did, <laughs> did it work? It did, but that doesn't make the island safe. Because you're still here. A lightkeeper who lures ships onto the rocks. Sheesh. I made a mistake. I know this now. Swear by Frey and all the gods never again. Absolutely never. As soon as we're done talking, you're gonna pack up and leave. For good. Understand? But I... I understand. After putting me through that shit, you're lucky I don't cut your fucking head off. Holy shit, that was hard. Spectres, man. Spectres. I think I may have mentioned this before, but the reason Spectres are so much harder than other enemies... When they're, like, higher level than you, when they're normal level, they're not that hard, because you do a fair amount of damage to them. But... They do a lot of damage... And, well, it's more that you can't do a lot of damage to them via... Dots. Or damage over time effects. Um, save, by the way. Holy shit. <sighs> They aren't affected by bleed, they aren't affected by poison. You can't set them on fire as far as I know. I think they're immune to fire damage as well. Which leaves them very, um... Uh... Difficult to take out... In Well, I think it's more the, the, the fact that when you're fighting enemies at a higher level, and new damage over time effects are what makes them easy. Or rather, easier and doable. And since it's not affecting spectres, it's spectres are just hard as hard as they should be, essentially. But oh my god, I'm assuming that when I'm through my editing, I'm probably just gonna do like a death montage or something. But holy shit! Oh. For the record, I started this recording at like quarter to twelve. It's now two thirty. <laughs> how long that took and there were so many times it got so close to finishing it like I got to the stage where the lights had turned off or the lighthouse had turned on rather and weakened the spectres but it just wasn't enough Whew. well in any case Elderberg is now cleared I'm waking my way back to Aaron Beyond now um, I'm not actually gonna conclude this quest yet because it throws you straight into another one pretty much straight away, and that took a long time. Even with my editing, it's still going to be a long episode, I think. Good dive, Geralt. Like a no splash, 10 out of 10. Alright. Yep, I really need that mod that lets me jump when I'm... I think I'll install a couple more mods. I also want to put on, like, a free camera mod to make it easier for when I'm making lore videos. Because currently my lore videos, I've been sitting on... Like, I've been using static images or just footage from my gameplay, but I probably want to up the production quality a bit and do like sort of pan shots and stuff of this game because it looks like it's a beautiful game and to try and get like proper footage of it would be nice. Don't fuck those sirens. Ugh. He needs my help.
hurt you badly. I'm fine. I really showed him, didn't I? Seen sirens around here before? Aye, of course. They fly in from Unvik, the isle cursed by the gods. Damn she beasties. But enough chatter. My brother awaits. Thanks for the help, stranger. Your gods grant ye health. Well, I helped him at least. You're looking ill. Best nurse some need at the tower. I killed some of his sheep, unfortunately, but. Uh, your end is this way. Which is the way I was planning on going initially. Alright, so we shaved a shepherd too, that's always good. If possible, I want to avoid another fight. They're wolves. I can probably avoid them fairly easily. Although, do you remember in my first playthrough, I found a wolf pack around about here that was led by a werewolf? <laughs> Which was absolutely awesome, but I don't particularly want to fight a werewolf. Come closer, stranger. Greetings. Looking to buy? No, but I'm looking to sell. Show me your wares. Um, sort by price. So I want to sell my cheap shit first. Well. <laughs> well then. That didn't last long. Um, you can buy these though. Uh, 45. Will you buy the shirt? Buy the shirt. 129. 232. Where are my shoes? Oh, there. One, two, three. Oh yeah, I don't have gloves for that set, that's right. My healing set. So long. Got a bit disoriented there. Alright. I'll look at this repopulated notice board and then we'll finish up, I think. Mattis has regained his honor. Uh I think I've read this one before. Matters who refused to go to sea with his Jarl this spring threw himself on his sword. He thus wiped away his shame and regained his good name. May the gods welcome in their halls. Yeah, I think I've read all of these. Look at her smart lad with a whack for bolt work and works hard but pays well too. Rogvi went out fishing and never returned. If you find his body, let me know. He was wearing sheepskin vest and three threaded leggings. Go to salt. Got salt cured whale meat for sale. Selling first class whale oil and whale bone too. I think I've read all of these. I make the best mean Nars Gallag. Meaning it's the best in the world too. Got a taste of my darling Hilder. Prepare to taste my axe. I have read all of them before. Alright, so next episode we're gonna claim our reward and it throws me right into another quest, so that's why I'm not doing it right now. But thanks for watching, and I shall see you next time. Hopefully, not with one thing taking the entire episode. Alright, thanks, bye. <laughs> Combo Breaker.